The Crying Woman, Listen and Practice, Part 1 Once, there was a woman called Immaculata. Her friends called her Inma. She lived in a village in Mexico. Immaculata was indigenous, and her mother and father died when she was very young. She was poor and she washed clothes for other people in the village. She wanted to leave the village and travel the world, but she thought it would never happen. One day, a Spanish man came to the village. He was rich and rode on a horse. His name was Guillermo. Inma thought he was very handsome, but she did not talk to him. He did not want to talk to poor indigenous girls, she thought. But that night, when she was washing clothes in the river, Guillermo came to her. You're working so late, he said. Oh. She wanted to run away. Please, stay. Do not worry. I won't hurt you. She was afraid of him and could not look in his eyes. He was so handsome. He touched her face and made her look him in the eyes. You are so beautiful. You are too beautiful to be washing clothes in the night. Guillermo thought she was beautiful. She couldn't believe it. I am not beautiful, she said. You are so handsome. I am just a poor indigenous girl. I have work to do. I will show you you are beautiful, he said. The next night, he came back with a white dress. It was beautiful. And Immaculata had never seen a dress like it. It is for you, he said. What? she said. It is so beautiful. I cannot wear this. People will ask where it is from. Then you will wear it only inside my house. Inside your house? Guillermo kissed her. She was very surprised. He was the first man who had kissed her. Come home with me, Inma, he said. Immaculata had lots of clothes to wash, but she forgot about them. She went to Guillermo's house, and she put on the white dress. They kissed, and she stayed the night, every night. After work, Immaculata went to Guillermo's house. She put on the white dress, and they slept together. Soon, Immaculata got pregnant. Everyone asked her who the father was, but she did not tell them. Guillermo said she couldn't tell them. They won't understand our love, he said. I am Spanish, and you are indigenous. They will think I am a monster. I don't care, said Immaculata. I love you so much, Guillermo. They will want to hurt our child, he said. You must not tell them. So Immaculata told nobody about her love for him. After she had their son, she stayed inside his house. He was rich, so she did not have to work. She stayed inside and looked after their son and waited for Guillermo to come home. But Guillermo always came home very late. He only wanted to sleep with her. He didn't have time to talk to her or play with their son. Inma loved Guillermo, but he didn't look at her anymore. I have to make him love me again, she said. 
so she got pregnant two more times, and they had two more children, two daughters. Every time, Inma thought that Guillermo would love her again. They had a beautiful family. Wasn't he happy? Didn't he want to talk to his children? But Guillermo didn't love Immaculata. In the day, Inma cried, and that night, she slept with Guillermo. One day, Immaculata said, Please, Guillermo, we must get married. We have three children. God wants us to get married. I want to get pregnant again. I love you. I don't care what people say. Other people don't matter. Our family matters. She touched him, but he moved away. I will think about it. Guillermo said. But do not get pregnant again. Use the medicine that the old women make. That night, Guillermo did not come home. Immaculata was worried. She went into the village and looked for him, and then she saw him through a window. He was inside another woman's house. It was a beautiful Spanish woman. And they were kissing and laughing. Oh, my love, he said. You are so good to me. Guillermo, she said. I don't care about your words. I don't care about that indigenous woman. Just kiss me. I'm going to take you back to Spain with me, he said, and kissed her. That night, Immaculata did not sleep. She cried and cried. What's wrong, Mum? said her children, but Immaculata didn't tell them. In the morning, she stopped crying and said, Come on, children. We're going to the river.